to me the Thursday, November the 21st, and asked me could he uh, ride home with me that afternoon. And I said, well, yes. And I said, well, why are you going home this afternoon? And he replied that he wanted to go home and pick up some curtain rods where he could put some curtains up in his apartment. Osby got a lift to the school book depository that Friday morning from co-worker Frazier. Frazier's sister, Mrs. Glennie Mae Randall, lived across the street from the Payne house. Uh, I was preparing lunches for my um, brother uh, there at my sink, and I looked out the window and saw Mr. Uh, Oswald cross the street and come up across my driveway, and he had a brown paper bag in his uh, right hand. It was about 27 inches long. It was made out of a heavy brown paper with um, heavy-looking tape on it. Incidentally, the search of the book depository building made after the assassination failed to turn up any curtain rods, and the furnished room, which Oswald was then occupying, was equipped with curtain rods. So Oswald made an uncharacteristic trip to the Payne home Thursday night, returning to the book depository the morning of the assassination with a heavy-looking package that could pass for curtain rods. Was it the rifle? A difference of about eight inches has made this one of the most contentious points for the critics. Within this package, I have a disassembled Manneker Carcano rifle identical to Oswald's. Now, before I tell you the dimensions, you might want to try to estimate them, as Mrs. Randall and Wesley Frazier did, from memory. Mrs. Randall variously estimated Oswald's package of curtain rods as 27 or 20 feet long. Her brother, Wesley Frazier, said about two feet, give or take a few inches. As a matter of fact, the disassembled Manneker is 34 and 8 tenths inches long. Furthermore, Frazier said Oswald, preceding him into the depository building, carried the curtain rods under his armpit with his hand around the bottom. Now, obviously, you can't carry this package that way. Oswald had gotten out of the car first and was then walking away from Frazier. The commission decided that Frazier easily could have been mistaken about Oswald carrying the package. Now, you can decide whether Frazier, walking some 50 feet behind and in his own words not paying much attention, might have missed the few inches of the narrow end of such a package sticking up past Oswald's shoulder. 